My dear friends, we love you so very much. Take heart. Although there are a lot of forces on your planet now vying for your attention, the greatest pull on you is nothing less than the love that lives and breathes within you. This love calls you towards thoughts that feel better. It pulls you to rest when you're tired, to eat when you're hungry, comfort yourself when you feel down, and to celebrate when you feel good. This love inspires you to take the next step towards your dreams when the timing is perfect. It gives you the urge to be somewhere at the perfect time, so you'll run into someone with whom you'll have a mutually positive interaction. It guides you to sit quietly and allows healing and rejuvenating energies to flow through you. This love that breathes the very life into you is always trying to get your attention. This love wants a more incredible life for you than many of you will admit you want for yourself. The source that lives and breathes, alive in all creation in you, wants you to have the best possible version of what you truly and deeply desire for yourself. You either block or allow this love to flow into your experience. Like water in the pipes, regulated only by the faucet, this love never stops offering its flow. Like the sunlight that shines unceasingly, whether or not the clouds obscure it, this love never stops offering its life-giving light. Like the notes on the musical scale waiting to be formed into a song that you can play, hum, or sing, this love waits with infinite potential for you to shape it into the loving desires you dream of experiencing. This love, dear ones, whispers constantly to you in the subtlest of impulses. This love is the guidance that calls you to take a little breather when you aren't motivated to do anything else. This love is the inspiration that inspires you to enroll in a class you've been interested in or to watch a video on a subject that you've been curious about. This love is the very force that makes you resist things and situations that will not inspire you and pulls you towards those that will. This love never stops calling you along the path of your greatest joy. You allow this love to flow and guide you when you listen to your feelings. In each moment you have a choice whether to change your situation or perspective. When you act in a way that feels instinctively good, you are listening to the beckoning impulses of this love. When you pick up the phone naturally, you are listening to this love. When you decline an invitation or dance around a demand that doesn't resonate with you, you are listening to this love. Anytime you do anything that feels right and good to you or adjust your perspective on a situation that does not feel so great until it does, you are allowing this love to guide you. Anytime you do anything that doesn't feel right and good to you, without readjusting your perspective in a way that would make it feel right and good, you resist this love. For example, there are people and situations to whom you are naturally drawn. There are others to whom you are not. There are jobs you love and jobs you'd rather not do. If you have a choice in the 3D world to spend time in situations you love and not in those you don't, that is wonderful. You can easily listen to the love within. However, sometimes you have created a situation you don't like so much. You are at a job you no longer love. You work with someone you don't care for. Then, dear ones, when love can't beckon you away from the situation immediately, it is beckoning you to dream, to imagine better and to bring as much love as you can into the present situation until you can manifest better. Love might be saying, don't engage with the angry coworker if you can avoid it. Don't take their words personally. Love might be saying, have compassion for the pain that causes them to act out. Love might whisper, look at this job as a stepping stone. Bring your best self to this situation and you will attract better later. The source within you knows when you can change your situation for the better and when you cannot. When you can, you are impulsed to do so. When you cannot, you are impulsed to shift your perspective to one that feels better. Always you are called to a perspective or a situation that will feel better. Some of you find it easier to listen to the impulses for external change. You want to know what to do next, and when you receive the impulse to do something you jump on it. Some of you find it easier to listen to the impulses for internal change. You don't like how you feel and when offered a different perspective you easily shift. 
some of you have a harder time changing the external. Fear of failure or change can stop you. The impulses will keep coming, however, trying to guide you in more gradual ways. Some of you have a harder time trying to change the internal. Fear of vulnerability can make it hard for you to let go of anger, victimization, or martyrdom, but the impulses to feel better will keep coming. Perhaps they will urge you to look away from the upsetting situation and focus on the good in your life. Perhaps they'll impulse you to take better care of yourself. Perhaps the temptation to say, no, will be stronger than usual. No matter whether you find it easy or difficult to listen to these loving impulses, they will keep coming dear ones. The source within you will never give up trying to guide you to your dreams along the most joyful path. The source within will never judge you when you don't listen. The source of all love is that dear ones, loving, patient, kind, and compassionate. This love is unceasing and unconditional. So when the world around you seems difficult remember this, love is your constant companion. Love beckons you in every moment. Grace attempts to guide you. The Source wants your joy, your abundance, your well-being. You are never cut off. You are never abandoned. You are never judged. You are only guided through your very natural loving impulses, and you, only you, get to decide if you listen to these good feeling inspirations, or not. God bless you. We love you so very much.